Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to do a kind of like whip line back toss. So instead of the normal whip line like that, we are going to be learning this one's a bit easier than that one. We're going to be learning this one. And then you can turn around and go into certain combos. Let's get into it. So guys, before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, and subscribing, that will really help me out. Like I said, it just helps me know exactly what you guys want to see, what you guys want uh, for me to teach you guys. Let me know in the comments and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So with this move, uh, if you have the whip blind down, then obviously this is gonna be pretty easy for you to do. Um, but if you haven't, then I think this is a pretty cool trick to uh, learn. Like I said, it's pretty easy. It doesn't, uh, doesn't require too much skill. All what it requires is just some um, hand-eye coordination and timing. That's all what it takes. So to get the timing down, I would recommend just uh, starting here, arm out extended just like this, and then just kind of get like a like a toss, if you will, just like that, right? So when you do this, make sure you are kind of like turned to the side. If you could tell, my legs are straight, but my torso is turned. So turn your torso just a little bit, and then make sure you do not toss it right here with your body. Make sure you toss it behind your body. So then when you toss it behind your body, you're then going to want to kind of turn straight just to give it a little bit more room from behind you just in case you might have tossed it just a little too close to you this will give you enough room to move out of the way so once you do that then you're going to toss it turn and then this is kind of important with this arm you're going to want to watch the rotation and then with this arm you're going to kind of just reach behind and catch it now, how I catch it every single time, just like that, and then just like this, is because one, I've been doing this trick for a while now, so I know exactly where my hand is, needs to be, but what really helps is me spotting it with my eyes and watching the rotation and where it's gonna be, and then just catching it, moving my arm, and then just catching it, okay? So again, just uh, straight legs, legs spread apart. Turn your torso to the side. Make sure you give yourself enough room on the side. Do not toss it in right with your body. Toss it on the side. And then for the toss, you want to just give it not a lot, but just enough flick to do the rotation. So just get that down. Like I said, do a couple practice tosses. Just just watch the rotation, watch how much strength you need to use to do the full rotation. And then once you're able to do that, toss it, spot it, and then just reach your hand behind. That's it. That is all it is. So again, here's a slow mode for you guys. Okay. Like I said, this one is pretty easy to do, uh, but if not, it is something that everyone can learn. Uh, this one is not too hard, but it's not you know too easy like a normal spinning trick. But overall, it will just look super cool to add to your guys' uh, routine, your flow, uh, you know whatever you want to add it to uh, to your your uh, skill set. But well, yeah guys, that is going to be it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.